I'm John Cristani. I've made millions online without any employees. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make money online using the website Fiverr.com. And I'm going to be walking you through that right here on my laptop, showing you every step of the way. Fiverr, if you're not familiar with it, is a, is a task site. It's a job site where you can post where you can buy jobs for $5 of people looking to do stuff for you, or you could sell you know, different tasks. You could post up things you can do for people, um, such as voiceovers or logo design or audits or giving them access to books or whatever, uh, and you can make money. Now, the way Fiverr works is most jobs are $5 and the website itself takes a $1 cut of every job or 20%. Fiverr started with only $5 jobs, but now you can post jobs for more money than just $5. But I'm gonna walk you through some of the steps to do that on my computer in a second. Now, an important part of Fiverr is obviously you, you can get people contacting you for jobs or buying jobs from you. But what's even more interesting and what's kind of my methodology to making money from Fiverr is do jobs for $5, but have upsells, okay? Have other projects that you would do for far more amounts of money for people, you know? Maybe somebody wants you to create a web a logo for their website, but maybe what that person really wants is a website and you can charge let's say a thousand or two thousand dollars to design a full website for somebody. So just because you're doing logo designs for five dollars doesn't mean you can't capture the big money in upsells and that's what I'm going to be talking about. So here I am on Fiverr as you can see the website is just Fiverr with two R's dot com. Now there's a lot of different categories. A lot of the categories on Fiverr are related to marketing. That's because most of the people who use Fiverr are doing some sort of online marketing um, or web design or website related tasks. As we see here from the categories, the categories are graphics and design, digital marketing, writing and translation, video and automation, animation, programming, business, and lifestyle. You, kind, you can kind of get an idea of what are the most popular categories by what's farthest over to the right, graphics, design, digital marketing, and writing translation and video and animation. These are the major categories of Fiverr if you're looking to get jobs. So let's look over here. Logo design is one of the most common things that people use Fiverr for. And you can see a bunch of jobs over here. So we have a job at $300, a job at $10, $50, $80. Again, not all of the prices are $5 anymore, but you can post up whatever you want on Fiverr and make money doing it. I will design an awesome business logo with something or another, okay? Now it's gonna be a little hard to compete on Fiverr if your prices are so high. The reason why most people go to Fiverr in the first place is because they want something for $5. So my suggestion is figure out what you can offer for $5 or cheap, you know, under $25 because that's going to get the most people coming to your listing. Now, what I did when I got started on Fiverr, I used Fiverr to help me grow my consulting business. I used to manage clients' advertising accounts, and my goal was to sell my services and manage somebody's online ads, or their Google AdWords account, for $1,000 a month. That was the goal I had in mind, because I, want, I knew if I could have five to 10 clients per month paying me $1,000, that I'd Basically, I was working for myself and I was making a good income doing so. So what I used to offer was I would offer my services in the digital marketing category of Fiverr and I would offer my services in this category, SEM, okay? So what I did was I offered free audits of somebody's Google advertising campaigns. I'd also, so I would offer little things I could do, such as you see a lot of people here are providing keywords, PPC keywords for the business, or people are offering to optimize a campaign, or different little aspects of advertising They would that you can offer little jobs, but not the full shebang for as cheap as you can possibly justify. Now, what I did was I did every, anything I could. I will write text ads. I, I did this. I said I would write ads for somebody's business. 
I said I will, I never said I would manage somebody's PPC for $25, but I would, I would write ads for somebody's business. I would find keywords for somebody's business for $5. I said I will help somebody find an optimization. I also would do an audit of somebody's business. I said I will do an audit of your business. Now the way I used Fiverr was as a loss leader. I figured if I could get on the phone with somebody, if I could get somebody, a potential client lead to talk to on the phone for $5, that was worth it. I looked at it not as a way to make money. I looked at it as a way to get leads for my business. And that mentality is a little different from some of the people that you see on the Fiverr that I brought up. People are actually looking at Fiverr as an income source. I looked at it as a lead source for my business. And $5 for a lead? That's a great way to get in a conversation with a customer. In fact, you're having the customer pay you, even if it's only $5. Most businesses have to actually spend money on advertising just to get somebody to contact them. In this case, I've reversed the proposition. So instead of spending money to get a customer to talk to me, I'm actually simply, you know, I'm actually having them pay me, even if it's a little bit of money. Now, my whole strategy on Fiverr was built around upsells. My goal was to get people on the phone with me and also dem be able to demonstrate my superior knowledge of Google advertising, which is what I was an expert at. My jobs were $5, but my main offer was anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars for ad management. Now, most of the time, most people that are looking to spend five dollars will not go and spend five hundred dollars per month with you. But the reality was, some of the people were, and uh, I got I got business by posting jobs on Fiverr, and I was able to turn those into clients that paid me consistently for my business. I take a different, a slightly different approach to Fiverr than other people you'll see um, on YouTube. You can research other YouTube videos and find out people are showing how you can, you know, get started on Fiverr with no skills, offering, you know, e access to eBooks, or you can also find people that are finding nifty ways to kind of like try to trick Fiverr or get money from Fiverr. And all of those things are short-term tactics. I like using Fiverr as a lead generation uh, tool for my business. But again, the point was to get people on the phone with me so I could create a client for my business. So I hope that shows you like one way you can use Fiverr to make money for your business. Uh, my business was purely online, you know, managing people's Google Ads accounts. But whatever you're doing for business, you can probably find a category within Fiverr to offer value in and to do jobs for people. Remember, if you look at it as a way to start a conversation with a potential customer who can pay you more money, then Fiverr is a great, great tool. You're not going to make a lot of money you know, posting jobs up for a few bucks, but you can certainly make a living doing that. Hopefully this helps. Now, if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, give this a big like, and also subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more about what I do. I make millions of dollars per year doing affiliate marketing, I'm marketing other people's products on a commission-only basis. When you subscribe to my channel, you get a free course, a free mini course on what I do. Also, leave a message in the comments of what you would like to see me teach next in regards to making money online. Thanks for visiting.